we have some amazing news for black people. And it's something that, or somebody wasn't afraid to make something specifically for black people. And this is a mortgage loan just for black borrowers offered by the nation's largest black led mortgage company, right? And let me just read a little bit uh, to you all about this because this is, this is really an amazing program. Now you heard about Bank of America's program. It's a terrible program. It's not for black people. It's not for minorities. It is a marketing ploy to, to uh, make, gent make redlining sound fun. Now here, here's a press release put out by Legacy Home Loans, right? Legacy Home Loans, the largest black led mortgage broker uh, banking firm in the nation headquartered in Las Vegas, Nevada announced today that it has developed a special purpose credit program for black people who want to become homeowners. That's right. The loan program was developed by black mortgage professionals for black borrowers. Uh, this comes from a press release directly from Legacy Homes on PR Newswire. So this is their wording here, right? Uh, Legacy's, uh, Legacy's SPCP loan program will be piloted in six metropolitan cities, Atlanta, Baltimore, Chicago, Detroit, Memphis, and Philadelphia. The borrowers must reside in a census tract of the six cities that has 51% or more black population. However, there are no restrictions whatsoever to where the black home buyer can purchase their new home. Now, this is an amazing program. It's specifically for black people. It's specifically for black people in this area. And there's no restrictions on what they could buy. Now, there's a podcast on the Earn Your Leisure platform called Rants and Gems. It's a platform with, um, I mean, it's a podcast with Kiana Watson and MG, the mortgage guy, right? And they actually had this gentleman and his name is Ben Stanley. Ben Slayton, sorry. His name is Ben Slayton, and he's actually the first black realtor in American history, right? They had him on their podcast, and they pretty much posed the question of, is it legal to do a program like this, right? Is it legal in America to do a program that offers loans only to one race, right? And this brilliant gentleman said, yes, it's completely legal. This program has actually been around for a long time, but nobody has wanted, no, no banks were bold enough to fund these loans or no, nobody was bold enough to use these loans or sell these loans. And he said they finally got the word that uh, loan, you know, loan issuers will work with these loans. So he said, okay, cool. Now it's time to get to work. So what they want to do is they, the goal is to fund $1 billion to black home buyers by the end of 2023 and fund, oh, excuse me, by the end of 2023 and to fund $1 billion and more to black home buyers every year thereafter. That, that, that's amazing. Let me give you some of the requirements for this program here, right? It's called the Closing the Gap Loan. And it's only 1% down payment with free appraisal, free home warranty program, free, free pre-purchase home buying counseling, free post-closing home buying counseling, and financial assistance with, uh, with closing costs. Uh, this is really, really, really an amazing thing. Also, they have a minimum credit score of 620. So that's, that's very good. And what they'll actually do is... The program uses credit guidelines based on factors such as timely rent payment, utility bill, phone, and auto insurance payments. So all the things that, that pretty much black people have been saying for years, why do these things not count towards my credit? Why don't these things make my credit better? This company is saying we'll actually fact we'll use those as the main factors and how we'll decide who's eligible and who's not eligible. This is an, an amazing program on paper. From what I see, this is an, an amazing program. I don't see any downsides to it. I haven't seen any negative about it. One thing I do wish is that more of the top level media companies, out the media companies that promote things to black people, because they never have any problem promoting fights to us. They don't have any problem promoting shootings and beefs and all this other type of stuff to us and claim they're about the culture. So why is this news not everywhere although it's only in six cities these are some of the largest cities with black populations right 
or some of the largest black populations in America in those cities. So why why is this not being plastered on all of the blogs and all of the radio stations and everywhere else? It's a little bit strange, but whatever. Us, the little guys, we'll do our job and, and making sure you guys have this information. Um, I would say go to myhomelegacy.com and see if you qualify, see if you can get a loan because Having 1% down, this is less than the FHA standard of 3.5%. The good thing about that is, you know, that's a, a down payment. Having down payment money is a big barrier for black people when it comes to home ownership because a lot of us meet all the other requirements. It's just that the down payment part of it is the hard part to come up with. And that's why a lot of people have to go with these predatory home buying programs like Divi who then come and tax you on the back end when you want to go and buy your house. Or when you say, okay, you know what? I don't want to get this house. Can I have my money back? Then they take half of the money that you've been putting into the program. They take half of it and tell you to get the hell on with only half your money back. So this program, man, I think on paper, it's a lot better than, than any of these other programs. I say, I say, if you can take advantage of it, Please, if you have a higher credit score and you have more money, don't take this program. Don't don't take advantage of this program because you'll be pulling it away from people who actually need it. I would say let this go to the people who are in a position where they only have one percent to put down. Let them have it. All right. You know, don't 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 get in the way of that, man. That's that wouldn't be right for you to do that, man. That wouldn't be right.